Thanks for watching Home Maintenance Mastery. Make sure you have two half inch box wrenches to be able to tighten and loosen these. You hold one, hold the bottom one or just get it out of the way and you can tighten this up. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that my fingers and everything are out of the way because this will start to move as soon as that pin comes back. If you look at this trigger mechanism right here, once I do that, then it moves freely. And then when I let it go, it locks into that finger joint. And it just gets in there, so it's not, and there's, there's really no adjustment either. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten this down until that's freely and until that's freely moving because I already have the uh, trigger pulled back there and obviously righty tighty and it should start pulling that back Still hitting, but we're getting there. Starting to move, and I just want to give it a little more clearance. Make sure you got clearance, clearance. And there we go. Give it a little bit more for good measure. Now I'm going to tighten this other nut. And this is where I need two box wrenches. So one to hold it in place and then the other to tighten it. And you don't have to over tighten it. Just snug it on there. Now let's check the trigger. So as you can see with the trigger zip tied, I can move it freely. Thanks for watching Home Maintenance Mastery. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and nail that notification.